I thought it would be an interesting video to show you some swords I have in unfinished states, whether they're waiting for a scabbard or I'm waiting for the sword itself. First up here is the Albion Mercenary. I got this sword earlier this year and it's just one of my favorites just to look at and pick up and handle. But I haven't really done much of anything with it yet because I'm still waiting for it to be complete. Steven Huerta is currently working on a scabbard that's most of the way done. The scabbard's being designed with an eating set to be used as by knives and also a matching scabbard for a Todd Cutler dagger. This is all getting pretty close to being done. I can't wait to get it and show it off. Next up is another Heron Mark sword. Now this is the one that I designed and had Perna Darnall make for me. But the other one I'm waiting on is going to be from Longship Armory by John Landemo. I cannot wait for this one. He, John is absolutely legendary in the sword business with just an absolutely fantastic reputation for outstanding handling and just excellent swords. Now this sword was originally supposed to be done around January of this year, so it's definitely taking its time, but it sounds like they are getting fairly close. Now that sword's going to be sent directly from Longship to Steven Huerta for a scabbard for it. And once again, this is another one I just absolutely cannot wait for. I also have an Albion Principe that I'm waiting for. It was ordered in, I believe, August of last year, and Albion seems to be running uh, several months past a one-year wait time, so I kind of expect to get that sword sometime late this year. I'm not sure yet what scabbard to get for it. I'm thinking maybe a Todd's Workshop scabbard or perhaps Christian Fletcher. We'll kind of play that one by ear. And then there's this sword. This is the Atrium 16A.5. I need to get a scabbard for this, and I'm pretty sure this one is also going to be made by Steven Huerta, mostly because, well, first off, I love his scabbards, but also he already owns a 16A.5, so I don't actually need to send him the sword. He can go ahead and make me a scabbard using his as a guide. And all I need to do, he said, is kind of do an outline of the sword, just because Angus Trim swords aren't perfectly cement, perfectly exact on every single model. And actually similar to this sword, I have an order with Mace Kapcic for a 16A with double fullers and some crosses etched into the those fullers along with the scabbard. I don't know exactly when this one's going to be done. I know if it had been just the bare blade, uh, Mr. Kapcic said it would have been done pretty quickly because he already had a blade, a bare blade ready for it. But because I wanted a scabbard also, it's going to put quite a bit of delay into it. I also have a Tai Da, or it might be a Da, but I'm not sure what the difference is, on order. That is due around November of this year. Now, I pretty much don't know anything about Thai swords. But, you know, I saw this one offered on Facebook as a custom model, and it looked great. And I wanted to see it and get a chance to try it out. Now, I also have this Sterling Armory Gothic Longsword that I need a scabbard made for. On this one, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do, but I think I'm going to take something inspired by the scabbard that it's displayed with in the museum. It won't be exactly like that because that scabbard actually is not, probably not original to the sword, but it's a, I think it's a good base to inspire it. And I think I'm going to go with Chad Makes for that. And lastly, I'm working on some kind of vague plans at this point for both a rondelle and a matching longsword from Perna Darnall, who made this sword. The rondelle is probably going to be one that, if it's not exactly like these ones that Brother Nathaniel designed, will be very close. And then the longsword I'm thinking to kind of co-design with Brother Nathaniel to match the rondelle but have some more flair to it and just have like a matched set there. I'm not sure yet if I would want Perna to make the scabbard or perhaps just have him make the sword and dagger and then get the scabbards made elsewhere. During video editing, I realized I forgot to talk about probably the most important sword that I have in the works. Eric McHugh of Crown Forge is going to be working on a sword inspired by 20A.1 in Records of the Medieval Sword. And I also have a commission slot with DBK scabbards for that. And that's pretty much everything I have in the works. Hope you liked this little sneak peek into what's coming and stay tuned for reviews of all these swords.